Hi everyone, I'm Noel from Zyner. In this video, we are going to look at the top 9 changes in the information bulletin. This information will be useful for you uh, during the application form filling process. Let's get started. The first is uh, present and permanent address upload. Uh, so all candidates are required to upload their uh, present and uh, permanent address uh, proof uh, for this. Uh, there are a list of uh, list of documents given, uh, which are Aadhaar card, domicile certificate, passport, voter ID, etc. Uh, both the documents uh, should be merged and uploaded as a single file. This should be in the PDF format, and the file size should be between uh, 50 KB to 300 KB. If the present and permanent address are the same, then the same document will be enough for uploading. Uh, next is the mobile number and email of the parent or guardian. Uh, last year, this option wasn't there. So this year, there is an option for you to um, upload the parent and uh, parent or guardian's mobile number and email ID. This is mandatory uh, because a copy of the confirmation page and the final scorecard will be sent to this number and email ID. Next is the date change for category certificates. In this, uh, if you look at it, for general EWS uh, category, the certificate should be issued on or after 1st April 2022 is the date which is given for this year. Last year, it was uh, 1st Jan of the last year, right? So there is a change in the date. So for the 2023 application form, uh, make sure you note this date. For OBC NCL category also, there is a change in the date and it is on or after 1st April 2022, which is last year. For SCST category, there is also a change in the date. So the, the whatever certificate that you upload should be issued on or after 1st April 2022. Next, let's go to the uh, change in the compensatory time. The facility of the scribe, in case he or she has a physical limitation, a scribe is essential to write the examination. Uh, so uh, for the for the scribes, if uh, if the PWD candidate has a physical limitation where a scribe is um, needed for them to write the exam, then they will get a compensatory time of one hour and five minutes, whether they use the facility of of the scribe or not. So this is the change here, which is the additional five minutes which is given this year. Next, for the scribe facility of PWD candidates in this year. Uh, the candidate can bring their own uh, scribe, right? So when they bring the when they bring their own scribe, then they have to submit a letter of undertaking for using this scribe. Uh, this format is given in the appendix twelve. So so a format for this is given in the appendix, uh, which the PWD candidate has to fill up if they want to bring their own scribe. So it is also noted that the scribe may be provided by the NTA if requested in the online application form. So in case uh, you don't have a scribe that you can bring for the examination, then when filling up the application form, request for a scribe, there is an option in the application form where you can request for a scribe and NTA will provide a scribe for you. There is a change in the number of choice for the examination city. So if you look at the last year information bulletin, uh, four cities were given for you to select. So when you're uh, filling up the examination centers, uh, you, you could select four examination cities. Uh, but this year that has been limited to only two. So the, for this year, when filling up the application form, you can select two cities of your choice. And the, these cities will have the examination centers which you can select. Next is, uh, change in the try uh, next is the change in the tie breaking for the merit list. So uh, after the NEET exam, after the results are published, the merit list will be um, uh, will be displayed on the website. In this merit list, there are some criteria in the uh, information bulletin which are given. Uh, so in the last year's uh, information bulletin, two extra points were given, which is the candidates. Uh, candidate older in age and application number in ascending order, right? So these two points are removed for this year. So candidate's age will not be considered 
when the merit list is being published, it will not be a part of the criteria and also the application number. So who fills the application first, right? So that will also not be considered when uh, preparing the merit list. So for SE and ST candidates, a new declaration form has been uh, given for this year. Um, so please, uh, so, so all the SE and ST candidates, please take a look at this declaration form. In case you don't have the SE or ST certificate, you can fill the declaration form instead and uh, submit in the application form. So finally, um, there is a point for uh, Jammu and Kashmir and Lada candidates. Uh, last year in the information bulletin, there was a declaration form which was given for Jammu and Kashmir and Lada candidates. Right. So in this year, the declaration form has been removed and they have said, if you look at the second paragraph, it said that the um, candidates from the Union Territory of um, Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh will be permitted to take admission in the uh, private medical dental colleges, private or deemed university and also they will be eligible for the 15 percentage of All India quota. right? So all the quotas have been mentioned and the candidates from the Union Territory can participate like, just like other states. There is no differentiation for this year. I hope this uh, nine points were useful for you. Uh, if you have any more queries regarding the application form, please drop a comment below. We will answer your queries and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for watching more informative videos like this. Thank you.